Hello and welcome to episode 5 of this Let's Play series. We are playing Tia the Awakening. Last we left off, um, we have a injured person here now in our party. So we are camping to uh, let him heal up. It's just him. So we should be okay. Um, we should be okay in a, a turn or so. And we also are overburdened because I guess we collect some extra stuff. So we'll deal with it. Um, actually, let's go ahead and trash some of the wood. Then I think we'll go home from here, dump the stuff off, and then head out. Eventually, I think I will, I would like to try and have different encampments uh, around this area, collecting resources and things. We only have enough people, but we're not quite there yet. We almost have enough to do some more research, so we should uh, watch for that as well. So let's go ahead and go to the next turn. It's time for the Night of the Goat. A feast in honor and reverence of the ancestors and forefathers, the so-called Ziadi. Very cool. You set a table with food and drink, set bonfires in a circle, and begin festivities. But this night, the Ziadi actually appear before you. One, an elder bearded man, speaks with a heavy, coarse voice. You have done us proud, grandchildren. Now we shall cleanse you of any curses you carry. And if your souls are ever burdened by the filth of dark magic, come to a city we once called home and seek us out. And if you prove yourselves worthy, you may be cleansed once more. The Ziadi all nod in agreement, then disappear. Very cool. So now we have a place to, to go when we are cursed. Pretty close by. We have somebody who's not doing anything. Oh, we have a new person. Snovet. Let's look at him. He's a warrior. Let's give him some stuff. Oh, he already has a bunch of stuff. I guess he just pick up um, whatever is available maybe no he came to us to us equip which is nice okay so let's him um... wait he showed up at the um... This is at the uh, at the uh, ex expedition. I don't remember seeing him. Oh well. I'm confused. So we'll leave him uh, doing that. Collect a bunch of yarns or strings. Get some meat. still have only six people so I think we didn't gain anybody just uh, I don't recognize the, the name for some reason oh, well. okay let's go see if our guy is healed up and he is all right so let's go let's just go home before we get any more stuff. You hear a strange commotion coming from the nearby bushes. A sort of cross between a squeak and a deep grumble of a salivating dog. 
As you approach, you see a weird-looking brown ball of disheveled fur with big yellow eyes staring back at you. The creature is no bigger than a fox and has bat-like wings, a snarly smile with a range of sharp teeth, and it smells badly. It is apparently stuck in some hunter's trap. You recognize the trap to be orc made. Hmm. Can we like, rescue it and take it with us or something? I don't know. But just leave him be. That was odd. Let's go dump the stuff off. Another night falls over Thea, and restless souls of the damned seek out the living in envy and anger. You can almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths seeking to burden your souls. But this night, a welcomed guest is seen in the shadows, a Lapiduk, the spirit catcher. This bizarre looking creature, resembling an overgrown toad with long claws, yellow warts, and a row of razor sharp teeth, is actually a humble servant of Velez. In the old days, tasked with the hunting of wayward souls and misbehaved wraiths, but now, hopelessly overfed, and ever busy with his task of devouring evil spirits. So I assume the blue option is a better option, so we'll go with that. Thanks to the Lapiduk, your people sleep well this night, and they feel strengthened the next morning. Cool. Have a uh, bless of strength. Fifteen. A small group of travelers passes by your village. You exchange basic supplies and talk. Because of your kindness, they tell you of a herbalist living in a solitary hut out in the wilderness. They say she can cure any poison and even heal wounds, for a price of course. They give you a map to the herbalist's hut and depart on their journey. Neat. That's also very close by, which is nice. Oh, and everybody level. Some string. It's all good. Still, let's just go back here and dump things off. Let's just do this. And then create the expedition again. That's five. Oh, there's six. Okay. And I don't think we need any of these equipment, so let's just leave them back home. Let's take some wood. That's 40 turns for the wood. Let's take some of this stuff. Let's just take 50 something of them. Well, that's a lot of uh, fruit we have over here. That's nice. Takes a little bit of grain, a little bit of this stuff, the mushroom, some herbs, and that is it. Oh, some meat too. That's one, two, three, four, five kind of food. It's almost enough to um, almost enough to um, um, to gain us an extra. Oh no, it is enough to gain us one extra uh, movement, which is nice. So we want to go check this out, I think. And 
then back here, let's see if we can equip some of our people with this stuff. See if we can build some stuff with the material we have. So that's iron. That's a three craft thing. I have a metro one. Four extra craft for some gold. I think it's worth it. So this doesn't change anything because we don't have a smithy. Um, here for, to use a catalyst. So let's commit to this. In three turns, he'll grab himself a, a nice hammer. And then let's see if we can build ourselves a spitty. bone I don't have enough for that which is unfortunate that doesn't help I would like to get some more granite or something nice. How about well? Same here, I think. There's any uh, extra things to be gained here, but since we don't have anyone to craft it, let's go ahead and uh, just pause, not create this for now. Okay, so we have that will take three turns, and we need to see if we can get some stuff. We do need to research some steel though, because I don't think we can get steel uh, without researching it. Then we can send some people out here and um, and pick it up. And we should be able to get that pretty soon. Two of your fellow villagers decided to get married, and since times are dire, it is more important than ever to cherish such occasions. Wedding celebrations last for seven days, and it is customary to make sure everyone takes part. That's awesome, I think. I wonder what these other options are. It looks, uh... The cleansing power of water is well known to all Easterlanders. But as followers of Mokosh, this becomes even more true for you. 
A couple wishing to become married must stand naked in a river and submerge for several minutes to prove their trust in Mokosh and in each other. The newlyweds are then blessed by Mokosh. Once emerged from the waters, the newlyweds are considered cleansed and ready to begin and to give new life. Only then do the usual libations, with an excess of food, strong spirits and plenty of naked dancing through the night, proceed and last for many nights. So again, wells. Okay, so we have to deal with sickness. Let's hope we're going to do okay. Now let's take the uh, 19 attack out first. Not enough to kill them. That's enough to kill that. Not much we can do about any of those things. I hope we can both attack him and uh, kill him instead of getting killed ourselves. Should win still. Oof, that is uh bad. Because I don't think we'll win this time. I think this My is our first loss. Long, and the spirits flowed in abundance, so many of you are feeling the effects. The wedding was deemed a great success, and the happy couple begin their new journey. Okay. So let's hope that it does wear off. So we have a bunch of sick people in here. Okay. Not much we can do about that. We want to go this way, I believe. Let's just begin combat. I think we can just go ahead and kill this one straight off. And <coughs> Excuse me. And this guy has a bunch of shielding, so let's just have him tank some of that damage. And then let's use the uh, hammer to uh, do some uh, ex um, extra damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just queue them all up.
So a little bit of winning over here. Oh, another encounter. This is fine as well. Let's get the one with the shield out. So that's 23, that is 21, we should kill that. Let's just get, get some more damage done that way. Take five. He's got even more in injured. So he is now quite a bit injured. Oh, and we finished uh, our research, so let's go ahead and pick that up if we can. So let's get steel. Because we do have it nearby. Alternatively, a cabbage field would be great. Some weapons we got. Uh, let's let's get steel first because we will need to be able to use it for tanks. We want steel. We want things like granite and all that good stuff. This fur. This like quartz and things. Oh, amber. These are quartz over here. We have a lot of uh, advancement we need to do. At least now we have steel, so we should be able to get that now. And I wonder if it's actually within. No, it's not. I just wonder if it's within our um, village. Camp here. And sit tight for a little bit. And let's see how he is doing. 8 out of 11. So one more turn. Oh, we have the hammer. Forgot about that. I just saw it up there, but uh, too late now. Okay, he's fully healed. So let's go and break camp and go check this out. seems half submerged in water. As you enter, a creature comes out from the waters to attack you. And, and I just realized that our um, 
the music is really loud. Oof, I'm glad that uh, that one got played first because holy cow, that would do a lot of damage. Do we have stun or anything like that? But first action. Okay. 13, let's take this guy out. That's an overkill, I guess. That's fine. Take this guy out, and then we'll try to um, move him up first. Because he should be able to kill that and do some more damage over here as well. Just do some stabby stabby over here. Stabby stabby over there. Easy peasy. You search the buildings and discover a supply store still intact. Okay. Let's turn the music down a little bit. Okay, there's steel here as well, and wood, and uh, coal. It's kind of nice. Let's go this way, I think. other stuff down here as well we'll carry let's go up this way first there's some meat and stuff over there Oh, need to equip my people. Because he can use this thing. Oh, he can't. It's too heavy for him. It's a really cool spear. Weight 120 units. He needs some strength. That's not a lot of good weapons for him. For now, I think he's probably better served with that. And uh, because we actually moved the thing uh, up, it fall down to the next one, I believe. So that, that's actually great. So let's see if we can build a especially 19 of these. And I almost have enough of that too. So what I will do, because we have six of those in this group here, that's just enough. We'll take this one over here, come down here, 
mine some steel, come back, and um, and build that. Sounds like a plan. Let's explore this a little bit. Oh, I don't have enough to, to move there. You stumble across some ruins of an old... You open one of the buildings. Interesting. So the rat is level two, skeleton's level two. Let's do a counter tactic here. There we go. reason is I want to save this 18 attack to kill off one of these guys. If we can. And it looks like we should be able to kill most of these in one shot. Search the buildings and discover a supplies store still intact. This is bird meat. Okay. Iron. That's all really good. Big two-handed sword. We're running out of time, but let's see if we our two-handed sword is better than some of the other ones. And apparently it is not. Well, this at least is um, a little bit better than that one. Um, and she, well, I wouldn't say she's not strong enough to use a shield, but she is now. Or he. So everyone here have armors now, which is oh, except for him, and he can't wear anything anyway. Okay, uh, we're running out of time, so uh, I won't try to uh, do more stuff. So let's call it an episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.